Well, the insanity continues. Tomb Raider is no longer going to be uh, raiding tombs, ladies and gents, because uh, she's got to get rid of her colonial past. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. But they're still going to call it Tomb Raider. Yeah. Shall we take a look? This came up on Twitter last night. It was very funny. Uh, from Tomb Raider Tweet. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, at Mistake Reviews. Says British adventurer Lara Croft will transition from being a, not not that kind will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape its colonial past. Even though it's going to be called Tomb Raider: Shadows of Truth. Now this Evil Hat Productions, pretty certain they were the guys that were doing some like non-racist, like. Call of Cthulhu game thing where they were like, Lovecraft was a racist. We hate racists. It's like, my God, play another tune, right? Christ. Uh, so, no, they've been ratioed, as one can imagine. Um, um, I replied to it and was like, I shall transition from customer to non customer then, obviously. Uh, we'll take a look at what they say in a minute, but they've absolutely been torn apart. Why make Lara Croft Tomb Raider if you don't want it to raid tombs? Oh, I know, because the IP makes money, so let's just cash in. Yeah. I mean, they're still calling it Tomb Raider. Uh, and everyone's just doing the same things. I'm good, thanks. From Master of the TDS. Fantastic. Uh, well, th will there also be side quests where Lara does critical race theory lectures and then sends aid to Hamas while <laughs> laundering money in Ukraine? That'd be so cool. Some of these comments are gold. Uh, may I inquire if this is official language or not? Is this truly an attempt to rebrand an iconic character who... In her current state as Tomb Raider was voted in the West as a top character. If she is so loved, why does she need change? Yep. This is true. She was recently voted one of the top whatevers. Uh, so here's the actual thing. We'll look at that tweet in a minute because some of the replies are comedy gold. So this was released yesterday. So that tweet was yesterday. They released it yesterday and there's just more. So British adventurer Lara Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape a history wounded by colonialism, according to an excerpt from the official Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth RPG rulebook. Mate, just take the L, all right? You, you, you were colonized, just take the L. Uh, it's a joke, guys, it's a joke. Uh, raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts, which did actually ensure those artifacts, you know, are still around today, by the way. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Yeah, but again, if you just rely on people with the cultural or historical claim to the treasure often times history is lost people destroy it we've seen that many times i think it's important to actually you know keep history regardless of whether it's you know some people are going to call it theft or not i don't give a shit like history is there to be kept uh, later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having lara croft acknowledge her past mistakes oh my god they lecture lara croft in the game uh, and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. There is, you are having respect for the cultures that you come into contact with because you're taking their history. That is respect. <laughs> uh, anyway, she has also worked to reform raider culture and raise the awareness of her peers. Is, is that a thing? Holy fuck. Uh, Lara no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a raider, she prioritises seeking out the truth. Much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, what, and her tenacity. We believe that all three... What do you mean, struggle with heroism? It would make more sense if she said struggle with heroin. What do you mean heroism? What's she struggling with, being a hero? What, what are we talking about? We believe that all three aspects are an important component in creating a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism. Mate, isn't this the most boring sounding game you've ever played in your life? In this game, we seek to continue in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. This sounds total wank. 
This sounds so lame. Like, unbelievably lame. You've got to tell stories to address a colonial theme? Oh my god, go away! How boring is this? There's more. There is absolutely more of this. Um, DEI creates another dead on arrival game. Progressive ruin everything they touch because they lack the capability to tell a story that's not about their ideology. Hackivism at its finest. Yeah, it's hacktivism, isn't it? Uh, it's time for Chris Dynamics to give this franchise to another company that actually respects Tomb Raider and Lara because this has gotten out of hand. This is just insane. Sounds like it's ready for its own tomb. Can't have the Tomb Raider be the Raider of Tombs now. Wow, so excited to play Lara Croft and the pronouns of power. This sounds incredibly boring. Like, no one wants this. No one asks for this. There is no market for this. Uh, sound, like, th did they not learn anything by the fact that those remastered games did incredibly well? People like the original stuff. Like, they're not fans. And just general normal people are not interested in being lectured. They don't care. I cannot get over this. Have fun losing money. Some of these comments are commonly gold, by the way. Um, they hate money. Sounds lame and gay. Uh, oh, they'll be transitioning. All right. Just here to colonize your replies. <laughs> uh, already confirmed a flop. So another flop. It's colonial past. Bro, the game came out in 96. 1996. You guys are the worst thing that's happened to women in entertainment since the casting couch. That's that's brilliant. Didn't realise this franchise was 400 years old. <laughs> uh, I love this. Uh, this is how you let everyone know your goal is to create an expensive flop. This is a tabletop RPG game though. so But it's still going to be lame. Like who, who wants this crap? Blood for the blood gods. Pretty much. I... A Tomb Raider game with no Tomb Raiding. Gonna sleep on this one. I don't understand. What is this? Like, why? Who Who's begging and pleading for this in the marketplace? Like, obviously no one. My God. Tomb Raider? You can't raid tombs now? That's colonial past. Because reasons. Next, they'll give her a double mastectomy. <laughs> Thoughts down below.